It may be known as the little fire ant, but its impact to the ecosystem is hardly little. University of Guam entomologist Dr. Ross Miller confirms the tiny nondescript ant was found at Primo's Northern Hardfill for organic materials in Jigo, and experts in Hawaii have confirmed their identity. Guam is perfect. <laughs> They're a tropical ant. They live in a tropical rainforest. Uh, they love disturbed areas, which most of Guam is disturbed. It means the forest has been cut down or regrown. And they, they basically can live almost anywhere. They live from the tops of the trees down into the bottom of the ground. The ant has wreaked havoc in Hawaii and New Caledonia. The Australian government has also spent $12 million trying to eradicate infestations found in Cairns and Brisbane. Miller predicts that the tiny fire ant can do more damage to Guam than the brown tree snake because it has the potential to destroy Guam's ecosystem. For humans, encountering a little fire ant will cause plenty of discomfort. For humans, they, they, they sting, and they're so small that the stings are not very powerful. But the problem is, is you get hundreds and hundreds of them on you, and they sting kind of at the same time. And so they leave a rash, it itches. Uh, it's really uncomfortable. And the problem is, again, uh, is that they're so abundant that as you walk through the forest or if you're at home picking fruit or something, they swarm onto your, uh, your arms or onto your body. You don't know about it until they start stinging you. University of Guam officials are now trying to determine the extent of the infestation by putting out an all-points bulletin for these little guys. They look like a normal ant. <laughs> they're, they're light brown, but they're, they're, uh, they're hard to see because they're so small. I mean, and that's it. They, they look like little brown specks. For more information about the little fire ants, you can call the Territorial Entomologist at 472-5812, extension 15, or Dr. Miller at 735-2141. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Crystal Paco.